This is garden vlog number two. So, there's going to be a few changes here today. I wanted to show you guys this little garden that I made uh, earlier this year. There was a little spot here that I worked on the previous season. And I never really did anything with it, but I uh, slapped together a frame and pegged it into the ground. I have all this stuff in here from when I just mowed earlier today. But um, I had a squash and I, um, I didn't chew it up, but I broke it up into a bunch of pieces because it, it had gone bad. We forgot about it. So, uh, But there was, it was loaded right full of seeds. So my thought process was uh, break it up into a bunch of pieces and and it's under here in this ground so I'm waiting a little bit to see if it sprouts if any of the seeds come up if they don't uh, I'm gonna till this all up uh, by hand add a little bit of soil and decide what I want to plant in here but it's a good little spot there's quite a bit of seaweed in there that I put in and uh, potting soil and various other things so, yeah, it's a good little spot. And, over here, I'll just fast forward time, is the main garden. So as you can see, nothing really has changed except for the grass is longer. I have a lot of trimming and little bits of maintenance, but the weeding I did went well. And you'll notice this fence is down. So I've made a decision, along with the input of my wife, that we're going to expand the garden. So right here, I'm going to leave the door where it is because it's well established and the fence is going to come out into the yard more. And um, I've got some more poles and chicken wire, so I'm going to extend the garden and add some more beds because we want a bigger garden. So that's going to be part of this project this year too. So I've started cutting the fence. Once I get the fence out of the way, I'll get all this grass cut because it's incredibly hard to cut when it's in amongst chicken wire. And uh, I'm going to see how far I can get the chicken wire to go with the poles I have. And then I'll know how much extra room I have moving forward. From there, I'll make a new bed frame, get some dirt, and we'll have more area to plant. But also this week I'm looking at planting, because it's getting to be that time of the year. So stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to this season. Looks like we're going to do quite well. Things are shaping up. Might not be the prettiest spot. But this plus the new area, plus that spot over there, I think that we're going to have ourselves a pretty decent garden this year. So, looking forward to it. Alright, so I got all the way over to that pole removed. Sorry for the wind. It's the perfect day to work outside today because you have natural air conditioning. It's not so good for mics. It took me a lot of time to get the fence out of the grass and I didn't want to go pulling at it because I didn't want to ruin the chicken wire because it bends quite easy so I finally got it out as you can see but the way I extended my pole here I did it on both sides and the fence is in there so I had to cut it and I thought maybe I'd be able to get this part up over but I can't so I'm gonna have to cut that which is uh, no big deal. So, um, yeah, it isn't a big deal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just patch it. So I'll cut it and then wire it back together. And uh, that will fix it. I won't have to really mess around with taking that pole apart because I actually want to leave that pole there 
because this extra tall part, as you can see, the strings go down to that fence, and that's where my pole beans grow. And I want to do that again, so I don't really feel like touching them. There you go. I'm just holding it up right now, as you can see, but I just want to show you that I have patched that. So the spot where I cut is right here. So I just took some wire and stitched it back together. It's not pretty, but it works. And that's probably what gardening is all about. So the fence has been patched. Now we can get on to the expansion. All right. So we got some poles, some more fence. I think that fence is a little bit shorter than my current fence, but that's no big deal. I have uh, white-tailed deer around here. That's why I need fence. But I've never seen them be aggressive enough that they jump fence. They sort of just see it and they're like, whatever, I won't bother. There's lots of other things to eat. So, let's see here. So I got that bent around that way so that I can um, have it out of my way. I did some trimming. Went and got my ride on, which is over there. Brought it up and backed it in over where that thick stuff was and cut it off. So it's a lot nicer than it was. And then some trimming just with some scissors just to get everything a little bit better. I have a high, a high bush, blueberry bush here. I gotta give that some love this year, trim around it. Make sure it doesn't get overgrown, but it's obviously really healthy. You can see there's these two new stalks that are really going good. And uh, I think there's some blooms coming in there. If I can get that to focus. So anyway, yeah. That's where I'm at. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and roll out this and see whereabouts I end up space-wise or lengthwise with uh, the fence and see what I'm going to end up here with for space. And if it turns out that it's too much, then I'll figure something out. Probably cut it off with the cutters because I don't want to take up too much of my yard. I have an idea of what I want for beds, so. Yep, let's see what we can do. All right, starting to run out of sunlight. So this is where we got today. Whole new fence. You saw that in the time lapse. Walk over here. This is still how you get in. Probably put the two more poles down on that side and, and this side right here. But I have a whole lot more area for garden. So there's gonna be some raised beds in here. So this is going to be the conclusion, I think, of garden vlog number two. Just seeing so the sun is going to be going down and it's blowing like crazy. And I got a barbecue started for supper. So I'm going to have to call it a day. But I'm pretty happy with, with uh, what I got accomplished. So new fence, a lot more to come.
Am I upsetting you? Yeah. Best uh, leave my yard because you're gonna end up getting yourself ran over by a lawnmower. You know that? You're a good size. <laughs>